Time now for Dollars and Cents, where I answer your important money questions. Tonight, we're looking at the cost of aging. One in four Californians will soon be over the age of 60. For those on fixed incomes, affording food isn't always easy, especially with inflation. Experts I talk with say there are programs and strategies to help you make and meet your food budget. People are living longer. Um, California has one of the longest uh, life expectancies in the nation. By 2030, nearly a quarter of California's population will be over the age of 65, exceeding the 18 and under population for the first time. Many older adults are on a fixed income. Uh, they might rely on Social Security, a small pension, so they really are paying close attention to to their dollars and cents. And many of them are struggling to afford healthy food. Typically in California, one in 10 households are food insecure, but if there's somebody 65 or older in that household, it tends to be one in five households are food insecure. Being food insecure means you don't have enough nutrition in your daily life to really be healthy. Groceries have gone up, like I think they something like 13 percent in the last year in terms of inflation, but the increase for Social Security was only about 8 percent. And so that leaves that 5% disparity. To help fill that gap is CalFresh, California's version of food stamps or SNAP benefits. What we're finding is that older adults feel there's a real stigma because there was always a stigma to food stamps. And so only about a third of older adults who could be receiving CalFresh are receiving CalFresh. CalFresh can provide $23 to $281 in benefits a month to supplement food budgets, helping individuals, older adults, and families afford nutritious food, including fruits and vegetables and other healthy foods. The amount of benefits a household receives depends on their household size, income, and monthly expenses, such as housing, utilities, and medical expenses. The benefits of CalFresh can help families put food on the table and pay for basic living expenses during tough times. Every $1 of CalFresh money spent returns nearly two dollars to the local economy. Another program, Meals on Wheels, offers seniors free meals like this delivered straight to their home. This meal arrived hot. It has salmon and veggies plus a dinner roll and milk. It's another way to fill budget and nutrition gaps should your needs change. Someone might retire and be financially secure but as they age they, their resources and assets dwindle and they have more financial needs. You can figure out an accurate budget that meets your needs in just a few seconds. Each month, the U.S. Department of Agriculture publishes a food budget. It's detailed and tailored for age, gender, spending level, and adjusted for inflation, too. Simply fill out the age and gender of your household, how many times you eat out, and hit go. For me, it says I should spend about $65 a week on groceries. There is no stigma to this because if you have good nutrition, you're going to have better health, you're going to have better mental health. Another money-saving move? Growing your own food. Communities like the Lavender Courtyard, 62 and up apartments in Sacramento, have spaces where residents can grow their own gardens. It's one way to add healthy foods to your diet while sticking to your budget. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the thing I liked about it, the state programs that you mentioned are free, right? Yes, absolutely, Chris. They are totally free for all of the participants. I got an update from Meals on Wheels, by the way. The costs for the program are going up. Starting November 1st, meals from the program in Sacramento will cost $8 each due to higher food prices, but those meals are still free for the people getting those meals. That's really important, free. We want to underline and score that as well. And remember those calculators that I showed you? Mm -hmm. They're online, and we have links to them on our website, abc10.com.